Hi, I'm Yao, and I'm letting you know that I should play Eddie Brock slash Venom in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now that Sony and Marvel decided to play nice, we can have a Venom that is exciting and that makes a lasting, a positive lasting impression. Someone tweet Kevin Feige this video. So, I'm going to tell you about the character, about the world they live in, and how I'm going to bring this all together. But first, a brief history on the character. Edward Allen Brock is a reporter and a vigilante out of San Francisco who first made an appearance in 1986. He lost his mother early in life, his dad was cold and unfeeling, he became a disgraced reporter because of Spider-Man, and to top it all off, he ended up getting cancer later on in life. The symbiote appeared earlier in Secret Wars number 8 as a Spider-Man replacement costume. But if you want to learn more about both of these characters, I'm going to provide a link in the description. Now, hold on to your butts. I'm going to tell you how this is going to work. Let's start with Spider-Man's first solo outing. In the first Spider-Man movie, Eddie Brock is not a big character. He's a sports reporter for the Daily Bugle. He develops a fondness for Peter Parker. He calls him kid, and he calls him sport, and mentions how Spider-Man's going to be his big ticket to the top. He also coughs randomly, which is going to be a seed in which we plant. Eddie Brock's backstory is he's a former college football star who succumbed to injury. But because of his charisma and his exceptional writing skill, he was able to get a job at the Daily Bugle. Spider-Man's going to attain the city at the end of the first Infinity Wars. So he's battered, he's bruised, and he doesn't want to expose himself because he feels like losing his costume makes him more vulnerable. He ends up getting the symbiote at the end of the movie, but we don't see the reveal of Spider-Man with the new black suit until he comes in and saves the day in Infinity Wars Part 2. And now, because he's extra strong, he's extra fast, he's agile, plus his attitude is changing, he decides to keep the suit up until the second Spider-Man solo movie. During the second Spider-Man movie, we find out that Eddie has cancer. And... He needs to go from sports reporter to main reporter in order to make the extra money he needs to pay for his treatment. The first thing he does is go to Peter, who's now kind of a prick, and ask him to connect him with Spider-Man. Peter refuses. Second plan he has is to expose the second villain, who's a scorpion and Matt Gargan, and his entire family to the entire world. And Spider-Man can't let him do that in good conscience. So. Spider-Man stops Brock. Now, Brock hates Spider-Man, and he's also not fond of Peter. Now, Eddie's down on his luck. He doesn't have a story. He's still sick. And he turns to religion. And every good Spider-Man fan knows where Eddie gets the symbiote. This is where the mythos stays the same. Eddie Brock gets a symbiote at church. For the third Spider-Man solo outing, we have a copycat. He is more brutal and vicious with criminals. His webbing lasts a little longer with shades of gray. Strange. Spider-Man is dealing with this other criminal, but he's got to find out who this copycat is. Now he runs around New York, he chases him down, he finally finds a copycat who emerges from the shadows. To save the line, we are like poison to you. That is why we call ourselves Venom. And now we have Venom in our Marvel Cinematic Universe. From there, it turns to a game of cat and mouse where Venom is tormenting Spider-Man until Spider-Man figures out a way to stop him. But this is not my story to write. 
I'm just giving you the Yao experience, and I'm just telling you about the role I like to play. So what do you think? Like, share, tell me in the comments on how you would introduce Venom in the cinematic universe. Would you have me play the role, or would you have someone like, I don't know, Jensen Ackles play the role? Let me know in the comments down below. This has been the Yao Experience. Insert catchphrase here, and I'll see you next time.